Boom, so I finally did it two years later. I upgraded my laptop finally. Y'all know I was rocking the M1 Pro 14 inch MacBook. But I upgraded to the M3, heck no, I upgraded to the M1 Max. I'm just showing the box because like, I got it, you know what I'm saying? I got it docked up over here. Anyways, uh, yeah, why did I upgrade from the M1 to an M1? Like, what type of sense does that make? Uh, let me explain. I upgraded from M1 to M1 for one simple reason. Uh, my computer, the M1 Pro, was really doing everything I needed to do. I honestly really didn't need to upgrade, but uh, one problem I was facing was storage. Literally, I got the base model with 512, that just wasn't doing it. It was not doing it. So I needed at least like two terabytes. But in my head, I was like, why not do some overkill and get four terabytes? And as I'm doing research on these prices of, of, of these things used, I was like, I mean, why not just take it to the top floor and get eight terabytes, which everyone's like, oh, that's overkill. Or, oh, you're spending too much money. But dog, eight terabytes is a dream. Like I'm, I'm probably going to make a whole separate video after this. So go on my channel or look somewhere up here or up there, or whatever for the video on why eight terabytes is not overkill, why eight terabytes might be necessary. It has completely changed my life and my workflow. Never again will I ever get a MacBook with less than four terabytes. Like that is the, four terabytes is the minimum. Yeah, so I guess really my, my argument with myself was do I buy the newer M3 and, and have kind of a less respect one or do I get the, the older M1 and be able to completely max out my storage because it was going to be around the same price the the m3 i could have got an m3 with like one terabyte now i think it's like yeah i can get an m3 14 inch for for 2100 2100 but i was able to find a used m1 max for the same exact price with eight like i don't care about the new chip literally what i'm trying to say is the old chip was still running amazing anyone online will tell you that you can find a million youtube videos but this is just one where i'm really trying to break it down and let you know that the the m1 chip still works like butter okay the m1 pro is what i had and now upgraded to the, to the m1 max so i guess like the two percent of what it couldn't handle it can easily handle it now but again it was doing 98 percent of what i needed to, it to do so i rarely ever noticed that but those weren't my biggest issues that was just kind of slight quality of life things like if i was running hella programs then maybe it would kind of start to slow up a little bit but i mean i had to have a thousand tabs open which i, I tend to do i'm one of those crazy people who have like twenty thousand tabs open i mean if you can kind of see right here i have a bunch of tabs open so it wouldn't hurt to have a slight ram upgrade for ridiculous stuff like this or just a little bit better performance for rendering out videos a little faster that was just extra that was just extra i just needed storage literally just needed storage and all that other stuff is was just additional and might i add that i got to upgrade from a 14 inch to a 16 inch video videos may be on that coming soon too moral of the story is that you really can get more for the same price or more for less depending on how you're looking at it oh newer chip newer color what does that have to do with anything? I have eight terabytes of storage, eight terabytes of storage. Whenever you spec it out on Apple's website, that was going to run you probably like $5,300, something stupid. Like, I can't remember exactly how much it was, but it was ridiculous. And I was able to just get that for two bands. Same price I would have got a M3, right? Newer chip, newer model, woo. But performance, literally the exact same and no storage. So moral of the story is be careful how you're spending your money. You can, you can do it a wiser way. You know how I get down. This is tech truth. I don't play that. Don't waste your money on that dumb stuff. Don't, don't fall into the hype of none of that. And uh, yeah, go check out some used or refurbished stuff. You don't need to get things brand new off the shelf. Some stuff I do recommend getting off the shelf, especially if the price is the same. But some stuff, don't do it. That being said, yeah, M1 Max, I'm rocking with it. Might have another video coming up on it here soon. Actually, I think I am going to do one because uh, I want to talk about the whole storage situation. So if you want to check that out, it's going to be like right here on the screen. Somewhere. Okay. Okay. Peace.